Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Kilt Climber. Um, bit of a short and sweet one today. Um, uh, I'm just going to take you for one of my little uh, favourite little walks in the area. Um, this is Val Carvanella. You can see behind me. Well, we'll turn into Val Carvanella in just a second. Uh, you can already see some mighty peaks there behind me. Uh, sadly, not going to be taking any of those on today. Uh, just a, like I say, a wee bit of a walk. Working this morning, got a free afternoon, so I thought I'd come up and get a bit of sunshine. As you can see, someone has arrived in Valtellina. It's beautiful, um, absolutely roasting. Um, I do not think uh, the shirt and the woolly socks will be lasting too long today. Um, aye, other things, what was I going to say? Yes, uh, aye, my absence. My absence these last uh, few weeks, I uh, apologise for that. Um, I hope you guys are all doing good. Uh, I've just been rather busy myself with uh, work. Um, so I haven't had too much time to get, get out and about in the mountains, just been rock climbing a lot and uh, my rock climbing partners are none too keen on the idea of belaying for me with this thing on, uh, as you can imagine. So um, yeah, it's a rare event getting out in the kilt these days unfortunately, uh, but we're there today and uh, we're headed up that way. Let's have a wee peek where we're going, yep, so starting off on this wee road here. Then we're going up to a big lake somewhere in the middle. And then veering off left, uh, just to the left of those peaks there. Uh, aye. One of my favourite walks in the area, it's absolutely gorgeous up there. Let's do it. Well guys, I barely left the car. And this has already turned into a wee slice of paradise and as you can see yep, the shirt didn't last too long it's absolutely bloody bacon oh and we're about to have a very surprise local i think by the looks of things it's just <laughs> this could be quite humorous Very well, good man, good man. Well guys, uh, now just about halfway up to where I'm headed and uh, as you can probably see behind me in a rather beautiful spot. Um, yeah, I'll pick you up and uh, show you a little bit more of this in a second. Uh, yeah, you can definitely see here why this is uh, one of my uh, one of my favourite spots in the world. Uh, why I try to get up here as much as possible. Uh, I'm only halfway up as well. There's a hell of a lot more to come. Um, yeah, so feeling alive again after a few weeks of kind of listless listlessness and. Um, yeah, feeling a wee bit sorry for myself being stuck in working and so on, not getting out and rocking the kilt and having a good time and all that. Uh, I'm feeling alive again. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, damn good. Look at this. Mamma mia! As they say here, or Shahur Tam, as they say back home. Uh, Alright, let's just have a wee, wee bit of a peek up at this. Closer peek. There we go, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, yep, and um, we've still got a bit to go yet. Today we are, uh, what are we doing? We're doing 800 meters of ascent, which I suppose, let me think, let me think, for um, for the Americans amongst you who work in feet. Yeah, that's what, 2,400, that's about 2,600 feet, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, not, not, a big, not a big walk, but a nice walk nonetheless. Uh, as you can see, this one's uh, more about the scenery than anything else. And it's quite some scenery, ain't it just? Oh, 
Well guys, just moved a wee bit further up the trail here. Um, uh, maybe see behind me? Uh, Forested Hill uh, over on the left. That's where I'm heading eventually. Uh, at the moment, just in probably what is uh, one of the most scenic little valleys in all of Italy, if not the whole world. Um, absolutely stunning. There's a river tumbling through it there. I can I actually hope you can hear me over the roar from it. And uh, alright, and then look at this. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Um, yeah, so what we're up to now. See, there's a nice wee, wee mountain hat here in the foreground as well, just for picturesque effect. There we go. Uh, just heading across here up towards the snow and uh, up onto that ridge up there. A few big peaks now in view. Uh, I've done, I think, all of these at one point or another. Uh, but today, like I say, um, just a nice wee walk in a lovely environment. Look at that waterfall tumbling down the side there. Uh, another one there. They're everywhere. Um, yep, there's the river down there. Glorious, glorious. Just about to get a sight of something rather special. Here we go. Wow. Now, you might be wondering why I'm battering the ground like a madman here. Uh, no, I haven't sort of turned demented in the last half an hour or so. Uh, just had a little bit of a brush with a, with a viper, <laughs> just about 100 metres down. Uh, he popped down in front of me and I was coming up the hill. Um, luckily though, um, just slid past my toes. Uh, didn't Obviously didn't fancy a, a little nibble on my uh, on my calves, uh, thank God. Uh, so yeah, still alive, telling the tale. Uh, but I will continue to uh, batter on like this <laughs> for as long as it is necessary because uh, they're nasty little buggers, the vipers, uh, particularly at this time of year when they haven't had the chance to uh, use up um, the venom uh, catching prey and such like. So yeah, definitely don't want to fall foul of one of those little suckers. Well guys, I'm now up at my favourite spot uh, I was telling you about down below and uh, yeah, I had a bit of a danger fraught journey on the way up here uh, not because of any climbing business, just because a couple of uh, a couple of wee um, uh, vipers slithered by me uh, It's going to make going down a little bit interesting and nervy but uh, yeah, you can probably, probably see already uh, why this is, just why this is one of my favourite spots in the whole of Italy, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm outside the wee mountain hut at the moment. Um, sometimes, uh, nip down here, up here rather, um, just when I've got a free afternoon or whatever, bring a book up, have a wee sit about, uh, and enjoy the scenery. Oh, this stuff hits off, bro. Off you bro. And uh aye. Didn't really get much better to be honest, barring the snakes. Uh, you can see there's a few sort of uh, thunderstorms about to roll in. Uh has been a storm at about 4 pm every day, like clockwork for the last uh, last week or so. So I'll be uh won't be hanging about too long today. Uh, as much as I would like to. Uh, now, I'm going to stick you down here. If I can. Oh, 
Okay, how's that? Bro. How are we doing there, Grand? Right. Hi, so, a uh, few of you have uh, posed a couple of questions uh, on the page, commenting and such like, send me private messages. Uh, now the first of those was, uh, uh, what's my diet like? Wow, that was a cracker. What is my diet like? It's something I don't really tend to tell too many people about because it's uh, it's um, well it's shameful to be honest. Uh, so uh, I live alone, single man and all that, bachelor life. And uh, I'm not a great fan of cooking and uh, don't tend to spend uh, an awful lot of time doing any cooking. Um, I, so my standard day, to give you an example, I get up, uh, get up early in the morning, very early in the morning, uh, talking sort of 4.30, 5 o'clock. Uh, I meditate for half an hour, uh, then I do a little bit of exercise every day, sort of cramming, uh, good sort of, good, compared to some people it will be very light, do about half an hour of uh, simple exercises, push-ups and so on. Uh, after that I'll have uh, an energy bar, a small 50 gram energy bar. Uh, and then get down to work for the day and uh, yeah then um, I don't eat lunch don't really like eating lunch if I'm absolutely starving and maybe have like half another energy bar uh, that's about it uh, yeah don't eat lunch just because I always feel rather sluggish and sleepy uh, if I eat during the day uh, so yeah just have a coffee normally and uh, and uh, maybe a little bit of an energy bar, and then dinner time. Uh, dinner time's when the, the party happens, really. Um, I tend to do a bit of carb backloading uh, in the PM. Uh, yeah, so for dinner, I'd have a, I'd have something fairly healthy to begin with, like veg and chicken or uh, salad and chicken. Uh, that's a personal favourite. And then after that, I would go into what is actually pretty much the main course of uh, an absolute shitload of scones. Um, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a fine scone maker. I've got these hidden talents that you haven't, uh, you haven't found out about just yet, but there you go. A uh, uh, fine scone maker I am. So, yeah, I make scones every so often. And uh, I have a pile of them in my freezer, and I'll probably eat at least sort of five big ones. We're not talking little fanny scones, we're talking pfft, giant scones. Uh, I'll have probably uh, yeah, five of them per night, and then fold them up with uh, uh, another sort of pack of biscuits or something uh, just to sort of wash the scones down so to speak. Uh, <laughs> so carb backloading, uh, that's probably why I don't eat so much during the day just because I eat so much at night. Um, people are absolutely horrified when they come and stay with me or uh, I go to stay with them and they see, they see what, my, what my eating habits are like. Um, yeah, but there you go. Um, so the other one, which was quite closely related, the other question was um, how do I manage to stay in shape? And uh, thank you, uh, whoever asked that question, there were two of you. Um, uh, I would actually say at the moment I'm not actually in the best, best shape of my life. Um, uh, I've put on a good six pounds this year, which is uh, uh, would be slightly depressing apart from the fact that uh, uh, if it weren't for the fact that I'm having quite a good time. Uh, so yeah, last year, uh, last year um, I gave up my uh, my job. Uh, my scruples got in the way of someone else's desire to make money. Uh, that's all I'll say on the matter. And uh, and yes, I, I went freelance. So now now a lone ranger, so to speak. Uh, I'm a writer, and uh, yeah, I do an awful lot of lounging about. And during that lounging about, I've yeah, piled on a few pounds. Uh, this winter as well, uh, spent the vast majority of the time um, ice climbing, whereas in previous years I'd, I'd, uh, I'd done more sort of uh, mountaineering, uh, proper mountaineering in the high mountains, and that tends to, that's more aerobic obviously, and you burn off a, a lot more calories. Um, yeah, so definitely a bit bulkier at the moment, but um, uh, training wise, I just do this. Um, uh, yeah, come out for, for walks whenever I can. Uh, even if it's just for a, a short one like this in the afternoon, uh, this in total will probably be like three hours max. Um, and uh, yeah, an awful, obviously uh, an awful lot of climbing uh, and then the stuff in the big mountains uh, um, whenever I can as well. 
So yeah, that and like I said in the mornings, um, I, I kind of religiously, um, as soon as I get up after I've after I've had my my first coffee for the day and uh, meditated, um, yeah, I, I really sort of batter out uh, 30 minutes of uh, of solid exercise, not like not with weights and stuff like that. I can't even stand weights. I can't even stand gyms, uh, not in the slightest. But uh, yeah, I'll do like six sets of push-ups. See how jumpy I am because of those bloody vipers. Christ. Anyway, aye, six sets of um, six sets of push-ups or something. Uh, then the next day, six sets of uh, uh, shoulder presses and pull-ups. Uh, and yeah, squeeze in a bit of stomach, abdominal exercises uh, somewhere in the middle. Hi, so I don't do I don't think do things terribly seriously. I suppose I did when I was a wee bit younger, but I'm getting I'm getting a bit long in the tooth for all that, and uh, just frankly can't he be arsed. Uh, much rather be heading up into the hills and uh, and seeing my stuff rather than stuck in a room uh, uh, pounding weights or whatever. And uh, yeah, I would uh, I would stand by uh, the assertion that walking is the best uh, exercise there is. And uh, yeah, you don't see too many fat mountaineers, do you? Um, the most, well, the vast majority of them tend to look like uh, terribly underfed uh, homeless people. Um, but yeah, you can avoid that too, you know. <laughs> right. So, guys, one last quick peek at all this glorious scenery, and uh, I will um, catch up with you uh, again sometime soon. It's been a little bit on the tame side today. Hopefully, we'll have something a wee bit more exciting in the future. Uh, from for now from the Kilter Climber. Bye bye.